I have to raise an ethical question, but I'm sure is sure. commonly put to you by many, both on the right and on the left. Uh, namely, what moral obligations, if any, in your view, do we owe within society to not only the poor, but to those who, for whatever reason, simply cannot fully exercise reason and take care of themselves? Well, it really depends on what you mean by obligation, right? Are you born with an obligation to help them? No. You have no obligation inherent in you being human. If you're wealthy and you're taking care of yourself and you've taken care of your kids and, and you, 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 you've basically got the material values that you need in order to pursue your happiness and you're going to opera and you're doing, you're doing well in life, then it's, it's part of just living in a benevolent world and being a benevolent person that you, you don't want human suffering to exist and to the extent that you can help out, to the extent that you can help another human being, I think people would be happy, egoistic, rationally selfish people would be happy to help that human being. Not out of a sense of duty, not out of a sense of obligation, but out of a sense of recognition of the value of human life. The recognition that all human life is, is of value and that human suffering is sad. It's, it's just not, not a nice thing. And that if it doesn't cause you any suffering, if it doesn't cause you the inability to live a good life, then why not help them? The problem is that once you make it an obligation, and this is what we see in the welfare state today, it's an obligation. So when is enough enough? Because there's always human suffering. I mean, I mean, uh, a lot of leftists point this out today, and, and they're right. You could take a little bit of what you have right now, no matter how much you have, and send it to Africa and you will save a little boy's life or a little girl's life. You selfish bastard. You're not doing that, right? You could, and it wouldn't cost you that much. But if you do that, what about the next kid? And the next kid, and the next kid. And, and when, when does it stop being your obligation? When uh, is it not your duty anymore? Uh, uh, when you're on the verge of starvation, when you're equal, to their suffering, then it's okay for you to stop sending that money. That's the whole morality of guilt, the whole morality of duty and obligation, the whole morality that puts other people's suffering as a, as a claim, moral claim against you. That's what Ayn Rand's rejecting. When you're, you've taken care of yourself and you're in a good position, how much you choose to help other people, how much you choose to, to, to provide for the for the well-being of those who cannot take care of themselves or those who fall in bad luck, all that. That is an option that you have. And, and depending on your values and depending on your life and depending on what's going on in your life at that moment, it's completely up to you, not as a duty, but as a choice to help those out. And she believes that we would help them out because we value human life. I mean, people, people will stop at the side of the road to help out an injured dog take time out of their life to take the dog in and take them to the vet. Not everybody, right? I might not. Don't like dogs that much, right? But somebody might, right? If we're willing to take care of our pets and, and animals that way, of course we'd be willing to take care of human beings and, 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 uh, and help them. But again, not as this moral obligation that, and it, that, that, that has no end to it. Notice that we don't care anymore about absolute poverty. We don't have absolute poverty in the West anymore. Now we care about relative poverty. And, and you know, there's always going to be relative poverty unless, unless you live in an egalitarian society and then we're all poor, right? Absolutely. So th th there's no, who are we helping out here uh, it, it, today, right? Because there's no end to it. There's always somebody who needs, who, who has less than you. And therefore it, there's, that obligation goes on forever. If somebody truly can't, Somebody really can't take care of themselves. I think it would, be, yeah, I, every audience I go to, I ask, how many of you would be willing to help those people who clearly wouldn't, wouldn't be able to take care of yourself in this audience? How many people would be willing to put a little bit of money and take care of them? And it's probably le well less than 1% of the population that that is true of. Every hand in the room goes up. All right, what, what do I need a welfare state for that? What do I need a, this big moral obligation? Uh, the and remember, the standard is always your life not the life of the needy, 
you might want to help them, but that they are not the standard. Your life is the standard. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.